I'm Amit Jala, Nebraska Extension Weed Management Specialist, and this is for end field observations. Today I'm going to discuss uh, how best we can control volunteer corn in corn. Because see, in Nebraska, every single year we grow corn after corn at least on 2 million acres. So volunteer corn is not only a problem weed in soybean, but it is also a problem weed in corn. Uh, it is more visible in soybean uh, because of the height of the corn plant. Uh, uh, but in corn, it can also provide some good competition and it can reduce yield if the infestation of volunteer corn is uh, really high. There is no any selective herbicide that you can use in corn that can selectively control volunteer corn. However, when this endless corn came to the market, uh, that was the whole idea. Uh, of this technology is it can provide control of uh, glyphosate and glucosinate resistant volunteer corn in corn if you use azure 2 which is a quizella pop based herbicide uh, can be applied um, in uh, enlist corn to control volunteer corn for example in this plot uh, we have applied uh, azure 2 which is a quizella pop based herbicide uh, before about a uh, couple of weeks and uh, you can see this volunteer corn plant is uh, kind of dying this is a slow acting herbicide, um, ACCA is inhibiting herbicide, so it takes time, it can take about uh, two weeks to see the complete symptoms, but at some point, yeah, this plant is going to die. Uh, so this is the good way it can provide uh, control of uh, volunteer corn in corn. Uh, we are also working uh, with industry uh, where uh, glufosinate uh, has been tank mixed with uh, quizalap hop and in future it will be labeled, uh, but as of now, Azure 2 is the only herbicide that you can selectively use uh, and it is better if you use it uh, in early because when we applied here it was the volunteer corn was um, kind of at V4, V5 growth stage. Uh, if you use a little bit early it can provide excellent control.